Right, we're going to be doing this mechanism. It says, given information, a linked crank mechanism consisting of a crank OD joined by a link BC, which is fixed at D. Link AB is joined to link BC and is fixed at B. A is fixed and cannot move. A detailed drawing of the mechanism is given. A schematic diagram of the mechanism is given. The motion as crank OD rotates in a clockwise direction, link AB pivots around B and link BC pivots around D. Right. Um, what we need to draw is to show what the shape is going to be that's going to be drawn by this C and also what shape is going to be drawn by point B. If we look at it, A is fixed, so this length AB is also going to be fixed and I'm going to draw an arc over here. It's a construction line arc to start with. Um, what I need to find out is, well, what is it going to look like when this point D moves as this rotates in a clockwise direction? I've got this length over here set from D to B. I'm going to move that point from 1 to point 2 over here, and I'm going to mark that off over here as point 2 at that point over there. I'm going to draw a line going from point 2 going down through point 2 over there and I now take this length BC over here and I'm going to move that to the new point 2 up there and mark it off as point 2 over here. So C would represent where point 1 would be, point 2, I've got that length from that point over there to there. I'm now going to do the same with all of these points. I'm going to take my distance db, I'm going to go to point 3, I'm going to mark off on this arc a point over here and I'm going to call that point 3, I'm going to take that line going through point 3 and point 3, going down over here, I'm going to take my distance bc over there, I'm going to take it to point 3 over here and I'm going to mark off point 3 at that point over there, point 3. Same thing with point 4. Take a distance, B, D, mark it off on that arc, that would be point 4. Take a line going through 4 and 4. Take the distance, B, C, and mark that off on there, and I have point 4. I'm going to take the distance of BD and I'm going to mark off 0.5. I'm going to take the distance CB and mark it off well, over there. I forgot to draw the line from 0.5 through 0.5 over here. Pull that down. That would be 0.5. I'm going to take my distance. BD from point 6, mark it off, mark it off point 6, draw a line going through point 6 and point 6, and mark off the distance of BC on there, that is point 6. Go to point 7, mark off point 7 up here, go to point 7, Link those two point sevens up. Mark off the distance of BC. That's point seven. Go to point eight. Mark off the distance of point eight. Draw a line from point eight through point eight. Take the distance BC from point eight. Mark off that distance. That's point 0.8. Take the distance from point 0.9. This distance up to the arc is point 0.9. Draw a line through point 
take the distance, BC, 0.9, Markov, 0.9. Point ten. Mark off the distance. It's point ten. Take a line from ten through ten. Take the distance BC from point ten. Mark off point ten. To point eleven. Mark off. Point eleven. Draw a line from point eleven through point eleven. Textbook answer makes a mistake over here. Point eleven to point eleven is that distance over there. It's point eleven. Go to point twelve. Mark off point twelve over here. Go through those, point 0.12 and point 0.12. Go to point 0.12. Mark off. And I'll end up with point 0.12. And obviously we've come back to 1. Right, once we've got that, I'm going to take my pencil. I'm going to just mark off a little thing over here, showing where the curve goes through all of those points, going round, go through there, go through there, through there, go through there, and going back over there. So I've got that shape, I can now draw my nice curve going through all my points, and I will end up with a beautiful curve showing where this thing goes. That is the question done.